Welcome back, everybody. We are at Clark's Hill Lake this morning. And I made it all the way here without saying anything to myself. Imagine that. I want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank you for all that freaking happy shit that you guys have been doing for me. I really appreciate it. My, my views are going up substantially. I used to get like 10 views per week. And now I'm getting like... I don't know, 800. So, I'd say that y'all are doing pretty well and helping me out with that. Uh, definitely has something to do with the bike. I, I don't think it's me. But, today I just wanted to talk about... Uh, it's going to be a super quick video. I just want to get something out this weekend. It's a beautiful... It, this is a beautiful area. And I'm just really enjoying myself. You know, being pressured to produce some sort of content and I was talking to a good friend of mine from Texas Lenny what's up down from the uh, the real Grand Valley he's like a brother to me so I really value what he has to say you know we're we got kind of in the deep conversation of like why we do things why we play music and you know why we create content for the world and I thought I heard somebody behind me. I'm going crazy out here. I'm starting to hear shit in the woods, you know what I'm saying? The social pressure to be like everybody else, you know, kind of fit in or whatever. Don't fall into the trap, guys. The way the bike fits into the scenario is over accessorizing your, your motorcycle, your car, you know, the clothes you wear, the, um, the stuff you have and you might say like well shit you know Louie you, you got you got quite a bit of things uh, that, that's true but I also worked re really hard for the things I have and it's been a long time coming I grew up poor as shit as I, I'm assuming a lot of you guys did too but no matter how good you have it someone out there always has it better than you do and that's just that's just the truth so if you cut the social pressure out, it makes things a lot more enjoyable. For example, on, on this motorcycle, you know, I, I still got this giant fat thing, fender, whatever. It's super stock. I've done nothing to it besides put a little paint on the tires and, and put a bag on it. Yes, this is an expensive bag. I, I got it. But to me, that's what I valued at that moment, at that time. For me to carry my, my stuff so I can create this content. So don't fall into the pressure, guys. I see it too many, way too many times. You know, decked out motorcycles, especially the Harley guys. The Harley guys are probably the worst at it. You get a new motorcycle and you put every single Screaming Eagle part you can on it. And it's like, bro, you don't need to do all that. And it's... It's just a, at that point, it's just a flex. Let's talk about it a little bit more while I'm on the bike instead of you guys staring at the damn thing. I'll take a little cruise by, by the lake over here. There is a little shot of the, uh, the lake here, the, the pier and uh, the, the, the boat docks and stuff. But don't fall in, don't, don't fall into that trap, man. You don't, you don't need all that stuff. I've been doing just fine with mine. Uh, nothing crazy. I haven't, haven't put, haven't put any tires on it or anything like that. When the time comes, by the time I need new tires, it'll be time for me to get out and, exp and explore some, some tougher uh, terrain on the motorcycle for now I'm just kind of doing dirt roads you know fire roads whatever you want to call them that's a beautiful morning my god thank you I'm glad you guys are here with me listening to me talk golden hour baby
don't be pressured by social media to 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 produce you know content for everybody people a lot of people fall into the trap I'm gonna try to stick to one video a week if that uh, kudos to everybody who pumps out a video a day or every other day or even once a week I've, I've seen some really good stuff uh, at, you know I got my favorite content creator just like everybody else does about a month ago I deactivated Instagram Facebook and really all I have is just this YouTube channel we're gonna pick up speed a little bit here hopefully the audio is okay all right so I promised a short video I'm gonna try to keep my promise don't want to keep you guys you know more than like freaking like you know 12 to 14 minutes I think that's like a sweet spot. People are so uh, freaking attention spans of a freaking, you know, of a one-year-old out here, and just constantly give me, give me, give me uh, stuff. But I can't, can't be feeding the monster like that. So I apologize. Soap Creek. People out here fishing and stuff. Beautiful morning. You know, we got to hit up a dirt road at some point, guys. Come on. I don't come out on the Pan Am and not hit up a, hit up a dirt road, at least for a couple minutes. Roads undiscovered. I'll go find me a new road. Make sure it's safe somewhat. Make sure it's, you know, something I can handle. It's something reasonable, and I'll hit that up. All right. Don't fall for it, guys. Don't be pressured by society. Don't be pressured by social media. You don't need all the accessories on your motorcycle. You just need to make sure that it's working. It's got, you got what you need, absolute need on it. And, um, and just ride the shit out of it. Just ride the bike. Learn the bike. That's what I'm doing. I've been kind of, you know, getting really intimate with my motorcycle. Building that little relationship with this thing it sounds kind of sounds kind of goofy, but it's true. I'm learning all the uh, all the, you know all the quirks and like how what I can and can't do. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the social media stuff. Let's go find a dirt road and talk just a little bit more. I found a little spot off the side of the road. Just pray for a little bit and then ride home. Be thankful for what I have and what I've been given this morning, which is absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for anything better. And I, I need to give thanks, so. Found a little patch of dirt or gravel. We're in the National Forest somewhere and I'm gonna be here for just a couple minutes because I promised you guys I would I would find some, some dirt for us. Uh, I've never been down this road so we're discovering it together. Road undiscovered. Let me go ahead and switch up to second gear so I'm not freaking wiping myself out here 27 miles an hour yesterday I got some pretty good well big big dip there oh look at that it's a swamp 
Ooh, that looks nasty. But it looks really cool from the sky. Oh, it looks like it's a dead end. Okay. Well, hey. Fair enough. Let me, um, let's park the bike and get the drone up and see if we can get some cool shots of that, uh, hey, look at this place. You know what? Not yet. Let's admire this really quick. Just a little boat ramp. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I did promise some, some dirt and I, I hope I, uh, kept my word here I'll turn the uh, turn the action cam back on once we head out and then I got to get home guys because I got a spring festival to get to and uh, wife would probably be waiting on me and uh, you know give me the looks the hey you've been gone all morning look but it's all right she'll get over it remember it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission forget that boys and I say boys because literally a hundred percent of you guys apparently according to YouTube are dudes so I can say that Okay, drone's back in the bag, um, and I'm ready to go home. But while I'm here, I just wanted to take the time to thank everybody and, um, you know, welcome you back to the channel, all that, all that happy shit. And remember, don't fall for the social media pressure. Don't, don't over accessorize your bikes. Like I said, mine's still the same as when I got it, besides the little cosmetic shit that I, that I bought. Some sustainment while I'm out camera water you know drone doesn't even freaking work but it's probably my fault I'm trying to bring it into these settings where you know it's not optimal for the drone to, to fly itself but let's get back on right out to the to the to the pavement and then I'll cut the video kettle calling the pot black here freaking you know <laughs> Well, on a Harley Pan America, but like I said before, I, I worked really hard to, to get these things, and I've waited a long time to even to even purchase uh, a motorcycle. They're actually the only brand new motorcycle that I've ever purchased was my old Harley Davidson Nightster from 2000, like nine or yeah, 2009, eight, and my Jixer 600. And those are the only two bikes that I've only ever bought brand new and those are not expensive bikes so always maintain a budget of some sort don't fall into the freaking pressure hole <laughs> and uh, ride safe right enjoy what you have and uh, let's come back to uh, watch the next one take care peace out ride safe all that good stuff you guys have a blessed weekend Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for freaking like commenting, asking questions. I love it. I love being social with you guys. And as I said before, I don't have social media anymore. I cut all that shit out. There's no pressure to, to, to post anything uh, besides the content I have here, which is I absolutely love videos. I love making videos. And I feel like YouTube provides me the, the platform to provide more context than just like one minute freaking videos. And it, it, it doesn't you know I feel like this deserves more than just that so here at the stop sign I will stop that is my signal you guys have a blessed weekend take care of each other and uh, all that good stuff peace